Hello everyone, and today's episode we're going to talk, be talking about shoes. Why are we going to talk about shoes? Well, if you don't know what you're supposed to buy, you might end up spending a lot of cash on shoes that you really don't need, and you might have multiple shoes for the same occasion. So it's, it's important that you figure out early on what are the types of shoes that you do need so that you're able to spend your money wisely. So today what we're going to take a look at is we're going to try to figure out what are the top five shoes men should have uh, as they go through life. We invited a very special friend to talk about those five shoes and his name is Colin. He's a very good friend of mine and he's very much into shoes so he, sh he should know what he's talking about. So with that, summoning Colin. Hi, my name is Colin Chan and I love shoes. I did a couple of uh, consultancy for um, some fashion brands here in the Philippines. And today we're gonna talk about the top five shoes that men should have. One of the quintessential things that you need in your wardrobe is a black or brown leather shoe, which is this one or something like this. There are many different styles of leather shoes. One of the most common ones that you probably see or you probably have in your wardrobe is called an Oxford. So this is signified by the eyelet. Uh, it's inside rather than outside. There are many different characteristics of an Oxford shoe. Uh, one of the more popular ones is called a wingtip. So this is an example of that and uh, the difference is that it has these brogings on the side that looks like a W um, but it's not really a brogue. I mean it is but it's not. See the difference of real broguing is that it has to be like this. It has to be uh, punctured. The history of broguing, uh, potato Irish farmers wanted to um, drain their shoe when they go to marshes and pick potatoes. Uh, and they need to do that quicker and they put holes and they puncture it and that's why it's called a bro. So the zero grand, the Kohan zero grand is one of the true example of real broking. Another example would be the double mong strap or a mong strap which signifies a, uh, it has um, a, a buckle. Um, the double mong basically just has two. That's, that's it. The second item that you want in your wardrobe would be loafers such as these. So. It's not as formal looking as your Oxfords or your Brogues, um, but it, it, it's something that you want to keep in terms, if, if you want to dress down a little bit, but still retain a little bit of that style and fashion. One variation of the loafer, which is a low cut slip on, is the driving shoe. Uh, the difference is one, the, the actual sole is a little bit different, it's lower, and then two, it has these things at the back. So this actually helps protect your shoe when you drive. Now, the third shoe that you want to have in your wardrobe would be sneakers. Initially sneakers were created for sports, but now they're designed really for everyday stylish comfort. The good thing about sneakers is that you can actually use it every day. And um, if you pick really good ones, you can actually get away with wearing them to work. The fourth shoe that you want to have uh, would be running shoes um, or rubber shoes or shoe that you wear when you actually exert any you know, major physical uh, activity like going to the gym or take up sports. And the reason why you don't want to use your sneakers is because it doesn't uh, give the same amount of support, uh, particularly if you uh, engage in a different sport or engage in a particular sport, right? Uh, there are so many different types of uh, rubber shoes running shoes out there. And the last item that you may want to get in your wardrobe or may want to have in your wardrobe is what we like to call the hybrids. Now a hybrid is basically something like this. Okay, so it has a very formal looking uh, top, but your bottom, it's rubber soled, sneaker looking, and uh, really, really comfortable. Um, why do you want to have this? It's because it's the best of both worlds. You have elements of formal wear and you also have elements of really, really casual wear. Uh, it's, it's not the thing that you want to use when you go to a black tie event, obviously, but it's something that you can use on an everyday basis if you go to work and at the same time, if you want to um, party afterwards and do it comfortably, um, it's a really good investment to have. And with that, those are the top five shoes that we feel you should have. That's the leather shoes, 
uh, loafers, sneakers, running shoes, and the hybrids. And with that, back to you, Carlo. Thanks, Colin. So again, guys, those are the kinds of shoes that we think that you should have. Now, very quick disclaimer before we end. We are not super sneaker heads, nor are we shoe experts. These are just the shoes that we feel have worked for us in the past, and we feel that should work for you guys. So with that, thanks, and check this channel out again for the next vlog episode in a few days. Peace.